Speedy Tree launch a new version, so of these clips I get from Speedy Tree. And this new software is for create the vegetation, grass, trees, ground foliage for your games, or you can use for the visual effects. The new version have the new tools. This was to generate more complex and alive trees, so this will be very easy now to you control. We have new tools like the procedural tools that was from the indie version so now you can use in any of this the software now supports the photogrammetry you can use to capture textures to generate new branches using the you use the photogrammetry you can get now to use in your trunk you can do the photogrammetry for branches and then you can import right here and use for the branches but always using the procedural so you can have the texture your mesh but will be different in the every branch because the software is specifically for create the vegetation and vegetation are complex so using the software you have the control of using the procedural all species of trees in the world you can generate using the speed tree because the software is specifically for vegetation so it will be very very easy to generate and even with thousands or millions of polygons the software handles very well and always with a great quality so you not will have any problem generate your own vegetation i prefer use this for my games so then i can export to unreal engine and render and this is very good for performance you have a lot of controls and these new features of the add new polygons are very good so as you can see you can you have the seasons variation from the summer to the winter and all of the softwares are compatible so if you go to speedy tree in youtube you will see a lot of live streams these live streams is about tutorials for speedy tree 8 and 9 so of course we don't have a lot of tutorials for the speedy tree 9 yet since they launched in the last week but in this live stream you can get the new softwares the new features so it will be very easy to follow all of these tutorials as you can see right here we are using the photogrammetry from the quixel and you can generate your own foliage on top of this a lot of games use the speed trees and this the triple a quality like you can see in the red dead redemption horizon zero down forza horizon and a lot of others i will put the let's wait a little but first in the live stream all of these examples made by the speed tree team a lot of questions of this live stream you can check the the live commentary the software are very good for optimization and is procedural so if you put some in the nodes the variation then you can click in a button and generate a new foliage for you with a, a, a new example so you basically create one species of tree or grass plant and then you using the procedural you can generate like copies but different in the size in the volume of leaves this example was for the Halloween, so this is why we have some decals of blood, we have some bones. This life was, I think, was almost two hours, so you have two hours of content to you learn about how to create this specific tree. This with step by step is very easy. First, you create the trunk, then you generate the branches. It's very easy to follow. And with the new V9, you can use the AGR for your background. So this is just some examples of the beginning of this, of this tutorial. So all of these branches, you can scale, you can increase the thickness. This new example was for this type of trees. So as you can see in the beginning, we have just almost nothing. And now in V9 we have specific values in the node, so the, the gravity will be for each node and not for the whole tree. 
since it was in the V8. So now it's very easy to create a new type of trees, more complex, more beautiful as you can see right here. So it's very easy to generate all of this. ED polycons are very good, so you can use for your games. You can generate a lot of forest using this. So as you can see, you can use the HDR and you will see in your scenario look like before you even export. In V9, you can use the new ambient occlusion also this example was for grass, so it's very easy to create grass right here. I prefer using the speedy tree for the trees because it's more complex and grass foliage are very heavy. So, but right now I'm using the in the Unreal Engine, so Unreal Engine have new features for hiding the alpha. And as you can see right here, it looks very beautiful, all of this grass in the Unreal, with the illumination. Yeah, it was very well done. Looks beautiful. So these examples is for Spirit Tree using in the games. So a lot of games using this, Red Dead, PUBG, all of these games, Forza, Death Strange. Assassin's Creed. So all of these games was using the Spirit Tree for vegetation. In the new, this was for 2020, I think. And the last of us using God of War. A lot of games using this. I think every AAA studio uses this Spirit Tree because it's very easy to create the vegetation. And if you're using like Maya Blender is very hard because trees is procedural so looks like every tree in the world even if the same species are unique because they have their own branches they will grow around another trees so this software represents very well how the trees looks like in the real world it is very very beautiful if you generate your tree right here, you can now export for any kind of game engines like the, the CryEngine, Unity, Unreal. They have some support for FBX, OBJ. And these examples right now is for cinema. So you can use for games, you can create for the visual effects. So this was Star Wars. Look for this vegetation. It's very alive. So the software will generate just the trees. So the landscape you need to create in another software, of course. But if you use in the holding for scattering, this was for Game of Thrones. This is The Walking Dead, Jurassic Park. Looks fantastic. Okay, so now in the Spirit Tree 9, we have a new value. This was good because now it's very cheap to generate your own trees. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I see you soon. Bye.